Welcome back Doom fans to my first relearning of Doom Builder 2 episode. Specifically the DC Doom Builder. The link to them is in the description. Today we are going to go through starting a project in Doom Builder, the settings we are going to use and the basic tools that we can use to create a simple set of rooms. I'm also going to go through how to save and how you can save mul multiple maps into a single file. It's all fairly easy once you get into it and I will show you in detail so don't you worry. So with no further ado, let's get started shall we? So now that you have GC Doom Builder up and running, let's create a new map shall we? There are several ways to do this. You can press File, New. You can press New Map on the line up there, or you can press Control N to open the map options. Now, when you open this for the first time, it will probably show something else the first time this will probably be the standard doom doom 2 in doom format which doesn't have any scripts level name is of the first map is map 1 map 01 in doom 2 but you can create uh, do maps in hexen format, which is a later game. To see Doom script types, but that will work. But we are going to work in the UDMF format, if I can choose it. Uh, ignore the, all these. We will need to add, once you're happy with the map name, which will be 01 since it's our first map, we will need a basic resource, the Doom 2 WOD. This will not be here the first time. You will need to press Add Resource from WOD. We will cover these tabs later. You will have to find your Doom 2 WOD wherever you have it. Mine is here in this folder. Once you have chosen it, press open and press OK. Since I already have it, I don't want to add it again. But you have to press OK. I will press Cancel because mine is already here. But I guess you get my drift. Once we are happy with our settings, we can press OK. And our basic window will appear. Once you have that, let me... Uh, yeah, I will show you how to do that later. I just wanted to uh, get a bit of a better view with our grid. The first thing you want to do when you have started a new map is actually save it. So let's do that. We can save in different ways. File, save, save map or save map as. We can press save. On the top bar there or we can press Control s which I will do find a folder you want to save your game try to have them uh, easily located in one located in one folder so you don't have to um, hunt around for it and don't try to call it map 1 um, apart from it cluttering up and it will save over any other names would map one in them. Uh, or, um, or 
likewise. So give it a name in the style you want to have the map to be, if it's a hell le level or if it's a base level or whatever the case may be. Since this is a test, I will call it the test map. So let's do that. Since I already have a test map, I have to replace it. But you won't probably want to get this. So now my map is saved. But you might have noticed another save feature here. Save map into. This is how you save multiple map files into a single file. So say you want to create a second map. It won't, it's going to be the second uh, map in, in the series. You're going to create it doesn't really matter if it's the same settings, but it usually it should be. Uh, make sure you have all resources. Start map 2, like you did the first one. In instead of saving it like we did before, let's press map, save map into. I want to save this into my test map. Make sure you have it selected. And it, it is the one you want. Make sure that it is named map 2 and not map 1 because otherwise it will override the map 1 and anything you do with map 1 will be deleted. So make sure. Save. And now, if you look at our test map and open it, you will see that you have two maps into that one file. Map 1 and Map 2. Of course, we have not done anything with either map yet, but uh, this is how I wanted to show you how you can save several maps into one file. Let's open map one again and let's continue with the tutorial. Now let's look into the basic tools we can use to create our map. So let's use a draw line to make a simple a simple room doesn't need to be too big uh, you will see uh, numbers showing how long the line is we will get into how that works later but let's make a simple square you will notice that you get the texture in here it's showing the floor texture of the map in of the room in question that's just a standard uh, floor texture we can change it later but for now let's just accept that it happens you can use draw curve mode it's the same deal you make point where you want it with left click. Now you have to make a second placement. Now you can curve the line slightly. So if you want to make a strange loop like this, the same will happen. We can make a rectangle, left click, 
draw rectangle and we can place it down with another left click you can see that automatically uh, it is intersecting with the, the other rooms we have made that is perfectly fine you don't have to think about how it will react if you uh, overlap lines like this and you can use grid mode to create well a grid where you automatically get uh, um, cor um, a room bisected into lines so you don't have to manually place them. There are probably advanced function for it, but uh, I almost never used the first four, not five top lines here. All of them have shortcuts which should be on the screen as I use them. The next four are the one I basically use for the most part. Vertices mode. All vertices are these points. Let's zoom in a bit with the scroll wheel. So we can try and see the vertices. There, there's one. There's one. All intersecting or end lines have, well, a, ver a vertices, and those are it. Uh, you can insert a new vertices where we have the grid by pushing insert. There you have a new one. You can also delete them with well, delete. That's all we need to know about that right now. Let's try the line mode. Uh, except with vertices, you can grab a vertices, and uh, by right clicking, you can move the corner to where you want to place it. That's the only thing you need to know about vertices for now. This is supposed to be basic after all. Line depth mode works fairly much the same as the draw line mode, except you have to right click to place the first line, then you left click like usual to um, Put them down. Did you notice I clicked on the vertices there? I think you have to do that when you use line mode because um, let's just make a test, shall we? Place down. Can I? No, oh, it works the same. It it uh, makes new vertices when it intersects, so you don't have to worry about that really. Uh, except uh, this is a stupid setup, so don't do that. I'm just making uh, uh, um, shapes here to show what they can do. Now, you may not notice I made a um, hollow place. This, you, you can be, uh, the player can be in this area. This is void. But I would like this to be um, a place where the player can be. And of course I can choose line and I can insert to start there and I can go around and any little um, 
vertices to make make this like that. But we can use a tool make sector and you will see all the lines around go yellow yellow orange if you left click you create a new sector and now the player can walk there that um, leads me into the sector mode where you can uh, do the same as you did with line you can move lines as well as vectors, uh, vertices, and you can go into sectors and move those. There, there are other uses, but we will get to those as we need to. But these are to interact with sectors themselves. See, they light up when you enter, when a mouse pointer enters a sector. Now we can interact with, say, this sector. The last thing we are going to cover is things mode. To actually, uh, let's actually place a player in the map, shall we? Where should the player start? Let's just choose there. Standard, when you right click with the things mode enabled, will open this thing to edit thing. And the standard on a new map is player one start. So that's fine. I won't go into the thing mode in detail. There are several options there, more than the standard <laughs> Doom game. But I want him to face up. We have roll and pitch, don't touch those. But we want to change the angle, we want to see the arrow there. We want the arrow to point this way. So just press there, you will see the angle changed. The arrow changed to there. And uh, for now, press OK. We have the player one start right here. Should be no issue with that. <laughs> we have a room with strange angles and many different lines, which we will cover in the next episode, where we also will go into our map and see how it looks from the inside but for now we have covered all the basic tools we have here down to make sector mode i hope you found that enlightening and for now let's just say that this was your host, the Lazy Gamer, logging off. Bye, guys.